Over the past 24 hours, the world recorded 5,380 new deaths, bringing the total number of deaths to over 2.66 million. The United States has recorded more than 30 million people infected, while Brazil ranks first in the world in both new infections and deaths. Transfer of body of patient dying from COVID-19 infection at hospital in Mogadishu, Somalia, February 24, 2021. According to statistics page worldometer.info, as of 6 a.m. on March 15, by Vietnam time, the whole world has recorded a total of 120,392,609 cases of SARS-CoV-2 virus infection causing COVID-19, of which 2,664.486 deaths. The number of patients recovered has reached 96,932,231 people, 20,795,892 patients are receiving active treatment and 87,637 critical cases. In the past 24 hours, the countries that recorded the highest number of SARS-CoV-2 virus cases in the world were, Brazil, 44,120 cases, USA, 33,387 cases, and France, 26,343 cases, Brazil also leads in the number of new deaths, with 1,013 cases, followed by Mexico, 639 cases, and the US, 584 cases. The US, India and Brazil are the three most severely affected countries in the world. The current number of infections in the US is 30,078,148,000, of which 547,189 died. Brazil recorded a total of 11,483,370 cases, including 278,229 deaths. Meanwhile, India ranked third with 11,385,158 cases and 158,762 deaths. In terms of population rates, the Czech Republic is the country with the highest mortality rate, with 207 deaths out of every 100,000 people. Next was Belgium with 192 people and Slovenia with 187 people slash 100,000 people. America, the prevention regulation will be much freer on National Day July 4. Dr. Anthony Fossey, the leading infectious disease specialist in the United States, said that the COVID-19 prevention guidelines would be much freer at the time of the U.S. National Day if the number of infections decreased while more and more people were injected. Room. At the time of the fourth National Day, with the vaccination campaign, we will have a very low infection rate. I will not say exactly what the CDC guidelines will be, but I can say with certainty. You guys will be much more free than now, Mr. Fossey told CNN. When asked if Americans will return to their normal levels of life, without masks and breaks during this summer's vacation, President Biden's chief medical advisor replied, yes, it will be. There is a greater degree of trust in it. Fossey's comments come almost a week after the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, released new guidelines for the prevention of the epidemic, stating that people who have had enough vaccines can visit those who have been vaccinated. Others and a small group of people who haven't received the shot in some cases. President Biden has asked states to launch vaccinations for all adults by May 1. Europe, Russia, the new case has exceeded 10,000 people. On March 14, Russia announced that it had recorded an additional 10,083 cases of COVID-19. This is the first time the number of new cases per day in Russia has exceeded 10,000 since March 8. Over the past 24 hours, Russia recorded an additional 395 deaths. Thus, up to now, the country has more than 4.39 million cases of infection, of which 92,090 cases did not survive. Notably, with 1,905 new infections, the number of cases in the Russian capital of Moscow has exceeded 1 million to 1,394. 
In practice, however, the number of infections in the capital Moscow has been steadily decreasing since the city government started a mass vaccination program in early December 2020. Consequently, many restrictions have also been loosened or lifted in Moscow. France prepares to evacuate patients from Paris. Meanwhile, the same day, the French government said it planned to evacuate about 100 patients with COVID-19 from intensive care units in the Paris region this week as hospitals there are working hard to counteract. Cope with new infections spikes. By sending critically ill patients to areas less vulnerable to disease, authorities hope to avoid the risk of imposing a blockade on around 12 million people around the metropolitan area. French government spokesman Gabriel Attal confirmed that the authorities are trying to do everything to not have to take more difficult and stricter measures. However, the government will still have to make a decision if necessary. Of the nearly 4,100 patients with COVID-19 receiving intensive care nationwide, there are about 1,100 patients being treated in hospitals in the Paris metropolitan area. The curfew starting at 1800 hours is still being maintained throughout France, while restaurants, cafes, movie theaters, theaters, and major commercial centers have been closed. The number of new infections in France has steadily increased in recent weeks. In the past 24 hours, the country recorded nearly 30,000 new infections and 174 deaths, bringing the total number of cases and deaths to 4,045,319 and 90,315 respectively. Italy, new infections are still increasing steadily. Meanwhile, Italy's health minister Roberto Speranza said that although the number of new infections in the country is still steadily increasing, the implementation of a nationwide immunization program and tightening of restrictions could cause the number of new infections started to decrease gradually by the end of this spring. The number of new infections in Italy last week increased by 10% from the previous week. Speranza admits the situation will not be easy in the coming weeks when a new variant of the SARS-CoV-2 virus is discovered in the UK now accounts for 54% of all infections in the country. Regarding the vaccine issue, Italy said that the country has a target by the end of September 2021 to get the COVID-19 vaccine for at least 80% of the population. Italy accelerates its COVID-19 vaccination program after criticism of slow progress in one of the most affected countries in Europe has been hit. In Portugal, the island of Corvo, with a population of only about 400 people, has had the COVID-19 vaccine for most of its population and will soon achieve community immunity. According to the sole physician on Corvo Island, Antonio Salgado, a large portion of the islanders will likely become immune to COVID-19 by the end of this month and the islanders can feel more secure. Currently, the number of people who have been vaccinated is equivalent to 85% of the population on the island and 95% of the people eligible for the vaccination. Community immunity is a form of indirect protection against infectious diseases when a large proportion of the population has become immune, creating a protective layer for those who are not immune, preventing the spread of disease. Experts believe that community immunity can be achieved when 50 to 70 percent of the population is vaccinated. Asia and the Philippines surpassed Indonesia with new infections. The epidemic is currently complicatedly evolving in Asia. Over the past 24 hours, Indonesia recorded an additional 4,714 infections and 97 deaths. Currently, the total number of infections and deaths in the Southeast Asian country is 1,419,455 and 38,426 respectively. Indonesia is the country with the highest number of infections and deaths in Southeast Asia. On the same day, with 4,899 new infections, surpassing Indonesia, and 63 deaths, the total number of infections and deaths in the Philippines increased to 621,498 and 12,829, respectively. In recent weeks, the Philippines has been exposed to a new wave of infections that epidemic COVID-19, as it did in July-August 2020, when the number of new infections consistently peaked. Faced with this situation, 
the country officials recommended that local governments increase efforts to trace COVID-19. Thailand discovered a new cluster of infections. Thailand has also recorded 170 more cases, mainly through active testing. Among the new cases, there are 156 cases of infection in the community. Particularly in the province of Samut Sakhon and Bangkok capital is 136 cases. In particular, up to 90 cases come from a crowded market in Bangkok's Bangki district. This market has been closed because dozens of people test positive for SARS-CoV-2 virus through active testing on March 13. Up to now, Thailand has a total of 26,927 cases, of which 86 cases do not survive. Cambodia, the epidemic continues to spread rapidly in the community. In Cambodia, the incident of community infection on February 20 leading to the third outbreak of COVID-19 in Cambodia, spread the SARS-CoV-2 virus to 10 provinces and cities. Cambodia has had 41 new cases, including 28 cases in Kandal province, Phnom Penh, the capital of the city. On the same day, the Ministry of Health of Cambodia released a press release on the death of a patient with COVID-19. The total number of COVID-19 cases in Cambodia is now 1,305 people, of which 647 have recovered and one person died. Japan counts only on the audience for the Olympics. Due to concerns about the spread of COVID-19, Japan is considering limiting the number of spectators to the 2020 Tokyo Olympics venues to 50% of capacity. According to the Sankey newspaper, large venues may be limited to less than 20,000 spectators. However, if the pandemic improves, more people may be allowed to watch more live. Japan's Olympics organizers will announce their decision next April and adhere to the domestic epidemic prevention regulations. Iran, risk of epidemic surges again during the Nowruz New Year holidays. Also on March 14, the Iranian Ministry of Health warned that the risk of disease transmission could rise again during the Nowruz New Year, which begins on March 20. Iran's Ministry of Health and Education spokesperson Sima Sadat Lari said in the context that compliance with medical guidelines is at its lowest level in four months, and cases of infection occur. The new form of the SARS-CoV-2 virus is on the rise, and traveling and gathering during Nowruz will be a serious warning to the new epidemic wave. Ms. Lari suggested people follow the principles of hygiene, avoid unnecessary travel and gather to stop the new wave of epidemics. Over the past 24 hours, Iran has added 7,593 COVID-19 cases and 88 deaths, bringing the total number of cases and deaths in the Middle East country to 1,746,953 and 61,230 respectively.